Our old barn used to be a chicken shed. It was made solidly enough, but it's getting very old now and falling apart. No doubt it would like to collapse gently into the ground after a long lifetime of holding out the wind and rain. But we can't let that happen because it's just too useful. So every year I prop it up and try to keep it going. This year Ashley helped and we replaced a couple of cracked roof sheets. and started replacing some of the side wall. In places there's not a lot left. Now I'm sure you don't want to see us struggling with rusty nails and rotten wood, but I thought perhaps you might find these things interesting. Nice. There are brackets I made to make louvers with. Before we could use them though, we had to replace all the timber uprights and a good few purlins. So there was quite a bit of work. And that meant propping up the roof as we went along. And those fibre cement roofing sheets are very heavy. I cut these shapes out of 2mm steel on the plasma cutter. But my first attempts were way off. It took four attempts to draw the shape that worked. In a way though, it's a perfect job for the plasma cutter. Once I'd figured out what I needed, I just cut it out over and over again. I needed 70 of them this year, more next year. I made them to fit some one inch thick boards. These are fresh cut Douglas fir with one wany edge. Gutter bolts attached the brackets to the boards. Chunky screws act as hinges. They go through holes in the brackets. The position of the holes is crucial of course especially the pivot hole. I've deliberately put the pivot point off center so the default position of the louvers is closed. So if anything goes wrong with the tilting mechanism, they should just close up tight. Offsetting the pivot point too much though would make them very hard to open because they'd be sort of heavy. So that's why it took a little while to get it right. The thing about louvers is they sort of interact with each other, so the spacings need to be consistent or they'll just jam up. All the louvers are connected so they open at the same time. Now I decided to connect them in the middle instead of both ends because um, that should make the mechanism simpler. So I made some basic wooden levers. They're orientated this way so the grain is mostly long ways. Of course, if he bought a set of louvers, then every part would be uniform and they'd fit together perfectly. But I'm using greenwood boards, which will shrink and maybe twist too. So these levers won't remain equidistant. 
which would be a big problem if you used a solid connector rod between them. So instead, I'm using a chain to connect them up. Mm -hmm. This accommodates the variation in the boards and it's very simple and cheap. The chain can be hooked onto a suitable nail to hold them open. So this is how they look now. I like them. Okay. Close. Open. Close. Open. Automatic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just said to voice control. <laughs> I made a door too with a heavy steel latch. Very handy for getting in and out. Lots of people will tell me that the angle of the wainy edge should be on the inside, but I prefer them like this and they're so well ventilated inside and out that I don't think rock will be a problem. Not for many years. Why have I made louvered walls at all, you may be asking. Well, I'm hoping to put the garlic harvest in this part of the barn later on in the summer. And they need a lot of ventilation so they can dry out properly. I could have made windows, but I don't want rain blowing in. And this seemed the cheapest option anyway. Most of the year, these will be shut up tight. Anyway, there you go, louvered walls for the old chicken house.